how to add GoDaddy domain to WordPress. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how you will be able to add your domain that you have purchased in GoDaddy with the website that you're building with your WordPress. Now, if you don't know, WordPress is basically one of the oldest and one of the best website builder out there and you are able to create a free website. But the website that you will be creating when you create a free website is under the subdomain of WordPress. So you're not really owning the link of your platform and so you will be tied to WordPress itself. So for example, uh, let's demonstrate this. Let's open our link. As you can notice, the link has WordPress.com in it. So it will always have that and unless you connect it with your own domain, you will not have your own unique uh, URL address. And so GoDaddy over here offers us to be able to buy our own domain. We could then later attach to our WordPress over here. So for example, you're looking for a very unique domain name. Simply visit GoDaddy and type in the word that you want to have, the domain word that you want to have. So for example, for me, I would like to start a store and let's say my store name would be let's go with francis store something like that and click on search now it will search up different available as you can see here available url or domains that you could have for example francisstore.com you will see the pricing over here francis francisstore.online, francisstore.shop, XYZ World, and many, many more. Of course, each have a different corresponding value or corresponding price. For example, this one, this is 1713 uh, for .com.ph. So if we convert that to, uh, so to US, this specific domain, it's going to cost us a total of almost $30 as you can see here. So simply select the type of domain that you prefer and you can easily purchase it by adding it to your cart. Now for me, I have my uh, output over here. I have my own domain already over here. So now after purchasing your domain, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your WordPress. Look over here on the right side. You have the options to add a domain manage all domains so uh, we can click on manage all domains for now as you can see this is where you will be able to check out all the domains that you have uh, in wordpress they have the feature to be able to buy a domain from their platform but our focus for today's video is that we got our domain from godaddy so i have that over here so simply click on add domain and as you can see we could register a new domain Simply select register new domain and as you can see here, it's actually going to uh, make us find and claim one or more domains. So this is inside of WordPress. Uh, to get into the section where uh, we will be able to add our external WordPress. So let's open one of our website over here. So simply click on add a domain. Uh, this one's going to show us our recommended. We're going to exit that. And over here, look over here below, it will have a message already own a domain and you could use it as your site address. So simply open that and as you can see here, enter the domain that you want to use. So uh, for us, we have cjr.shop, paste it over here, click on continue. And since I own that domain, as you can see, it will give me uh, different options. So either I transfer my domain where you manage your domain directly on wordpress.com. So we won't be managing it on GoDaddy anymore. We will only be able to manage it on uh, WordPress. And as you can see, they will review your domain for another year. Uh, they will manage everything you need in one place. You will have private domain registration and SSL certificate included for free. Or uh, just connect your domain, keep your domain with your current provider. If you prefer to have GoDaddy as your current provider, you can simply uh, connect it with this option over here. So you can select 
to connect your domain and as you can see here uh, you will have like a checkout section over here uh, you're going to have to pay for this purchase because what you're getting is a subscription for WordPress itself because you are only able to connect a domain in WordPress if you upgraded your subscription with them as you can see so you would need the version wordpress.com.explorer and their subscription as you can see here is $96 so uh, you won't be paying for your domain anymore because I already have it but you will be paying for all of these other features over here as you can see so live chat support access to all premium teams earn with word ads which is actually pretty great uh, customize font and colors in depth site analytic dashboard upload 4k videos with video press and many more and that's basically the total that you will need to pay now you could also like we checked out earlier that we explained you are able to manage your domain inside of GoDaddy as well because uh, if you don't want to connect it to WordPress or transfer it to WordPress uh, you can still manage your domain inside of this section and you will be able to see uh, the uh, the website that your domain is connected to under your portfolio over here like you could see uh, where it will be connected like the DNS the transfers you can check out the different sections over here uh, you can change the settings view the different information about your domain as you can see here uh, there's multiple information in GoDaddy, you will be able to create your own account or other own website as well if you prefer, as you can see here. So you have an option to do that on GoDaddy as well if you are uh, going to change your mind with WordPress because like you saw earlier, despite already having our own domain, it's going to ask us to further upgrade our plan to a different, um, a different version. For example, uh, what we saw earlier, let's try to view earlier our plan that it is asking us. It was asking us to upgrade to Explorer and we have to pay extra to have it connected. So aside from that, uh, you could explore in GoDaddy. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of uh, domaining that you could find. It's all up to you. Uh, of course, a different uh, URLs will cost more like the .com as you can see it's more expensive like that's a lot more expensive than a traditional a francis that store that store over here it's just going to cost us like 66.47 but there's other options out there it all depends on you of course if you have a specific preference for the url if you have the budget and if you're willing to spend that uh you could easily buy it by adding it to your cart in godaddy so that's basically it guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.